Hello followers, this is the PMDG777 tutorial number 2. For those who missed the first tutorial, you will find the PMDG777 tutorials playlist at the end screen of this video. The today's tutorial will cover the FMC preflight in detail. And before I get started, please subscribe if you are new, share and like to support the From Startup to Shutdown video productions. Let's get started. During this FMC preflight, I'll be using the SimBrief operational flight plan, and I got this in PDF format, as you can see here, which includes all the required informations for the FMC preflight inputs. When the CDU is powered during the electrical power-up procedure, as we saw in the previous tutorial, the menu page is the default page that it starts with. Now, before I select FMC function, while I'm already on the menu page, what I always like to do here is to complete first the aircraft loading by selecting FS actions, which takes me to this page. And all what I need in order to complete the aircraft loading is putting the planned fuel and the payload. Let's start with the fuel. Now, using my Simbri flight plan document, I scroll down to my planned fuel section and find my block fuel, which is right here. 75,628 pounds. I can round it to 75,700 and put it here on the total fuel line select. Done. Now I select return to go back to FS actions page. Then I select pay load. And what I need here is putting my zero fuel weight under ZFW line select field. To find my planned zero fuel weight, uh, I look at the first uh, page of my flight document. Here it is. 389,074 pounds. And I need to put this in thousands of units, uh, which means 389.1 and put it here. The last thing I want to do here is to cross check my uh, FMC calculated gross weight, which is uh, 464,800 pounds with the flight plan document by adding my estimated takeoff weight and taxi weight, which gives me 464,702 pounds, which is uh, 464.7 in thousands of units and they're roughly the same at this point uh, my aircraft loading is done and checked now i can move to the fmc to start the pre-flight so i select menu then fmc it takes me to iden page where we normally start our fmc pre-flight in this page i check a few items that are very important which can affect uh, the validation of all the FMC computation. First, I check both the aircraft model and engine rating to ensure that they match those on my flight plan document. You can see here I got the Boeing 777-200LR model with the General Electric 90-110 Bravo 1 engine rating and the match. The next important element we want to verify is uh, our active nav database here and we check the expiry date as you can see it's on march 24th 2022 and we are on 23rd of march which fall in this date range so we are good moving down to performance factor for the performance factor i got no correction as my fuel bias on my document showing all zeros iron page is complete now i can move to the next page which is pause in it i put my departure airport identifier on the ref airport line select for the irs alignment we need to put the most accurate position and this can be either the published coordinates for the gate if we are at or the GPS position. For instance, I'm going to select the GPS pause. I copy this to my scratch pad, then put it in set inertial pause line select. 
and you can see on my navigation display time to align is about seven minutes if you want to make the alignment faster or even instant you can go to your CDU menu page then select PMDG setup options simulation and here you can select IRS options and you can see mine is set to realistic but you can select fast or instant after completing the pause init page I go to root page and start building my flight plan using my flight plan document let me find my routing here it is I'll put exactly this on my FMC root page starting with the origin and destination from CYUL to CYVR my flight number is FSS001 the departure runway is 06 right now to understand what I'll be doing I'm simply entering the route exactly as it's shown here you're gonna see something very interesting that you may encounter when putting the route waypoints just bear with me uh, so you don't miss this tip now watch for this you can see here I have to put a waypoint that has coordinates now if I put this in the same format as shown on my document FMC will reject it you see here invalid entry and the reason because I didn't put it in the right way here is how you can put the coordinates instead of following this sequence you need to start with latitude index then its number then longitude index followed by its number for instance the correct format will be north 48 west 080 now I'll put this and uh, you will see the entry will be valid continuing my route entries after completing my route uh, I check for discontinuity then I select uh, activate then execute I go to progress page and cross check my trip total distance uh, with my flight document and see if the match so my FMC gives me 2008 miles and on my document I got here the ground distance is 2022 miles so which they are roughly the same now moving to the performance initialization page I put my zero fuel weight by selecting the ZFW line select key it brings automatically the value to scratch pad then I put it below the ZFW line my fuel reserves are 10,927 pounds I'll round it to 11,000 my planned cruising altitude is flight level 400 I put it in cruise alt line select my cost index is 38 I put it in cost index line select here I got minus 37 degrees Celsius minimum fuel temperature for freezing point and this depends on the type of our loaded fuel if we know what type of fuel we are using we can refer to the correct minimum fuel temperature so I leave it as it is assuming that uh, is the correct one cruise CG is estimated at 14 percent for the step climb I prefer to put zero since I'm not using it in this flight now I have completed the perf init page I go now to thrust limit page this uh, page requires a full takeoff analysis that usually is completed with the assistance of onboard performance tool commonly known as OPT but to keep it simple today I leave it as it is with full takeoff and climb ratings thrust limit page is complete uh, I can move now to the takeoff page I put five for takeoff laps I click on CG line select key to bring its value in the scratch pad then another click to copy it to CG boxes the FMC automatically computes the takeoff stabilizer trim 
2.75 units and the takeoff speeds. For the runway position shift, I leave it to zero since I'll be using the full length of the runway. My estimated takeoff cross weight is 463,302 pounds. I'll put this in thousands of units. 463.3 here in takeoff gross weight line select. Now, before I confirm my takeoff speeds, I need to go to page 2 to complete and put some useful information to assist the FMC for more accurate computation. Starting with the wind, the reported surface wind today is from 070 at 6 knots. I put it in the wind line select and the FMC calculates the wind components here below the runway wind. The today's runway slope is zero with dry conditions. I put that here. Finally, I put the actual outside temperature, which is 15 degrees Celsius. Now for the acceleration and reduction heights, uh, these depend on the noise abatement departure procedure. And it takes another video to explain this. For the purpose of this video, I'll leave it as it is. Now I step back to the first uh, takeoff page and confirm my takeoff speeds by clicking on their associated line select keys. Now I'm done with the takeoff page. Now this is the basics of uh, the PMDG 777 FMC preflight. I'm gonna add uh, some tips uh, when I get to the next tutorials uh, during the preflight procedure. If you are interested to continue following my upcoming tutorials, make sure to activate the notification bell so you don't miss the next tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.